and that's always been my challenge too when uh when we dealt with some of the the younger cats too because like i always tell them like don't rely on trends like mm. focus on you focus on your own originality create something that's in a sense never been done before but also speaks to you as your identity and i always tell them like trends are i consider them a vessel mm-hmm. like you're I mean, you're supposed to get a sense of the blueprint, like yeah. what you can get away with and what rules you can like break. Mm-hmm. Like if you, this is why I always think about trends and like I consider them like bullshit in a sense because mm-hmm. um, like eventually those trends are going to be, are going to phase out eventually because that's why I consider them trends. Like they're, they're, pop, they're the flavor of the month, but eventually right. that new flavor is going to uproot that. Right. And I told him like, all right, say you, know, you create your own, you know, something new, something that's never been heard before. And the flip side to it is like, you know, now that becomes a trend. So you're going to have like other particular individuals like, no, so this is a new formula. So I have to follow that formula. No, you don't. Like you... Have to like no, just peep it, but also be aware. Like, no, I have to stand apart for myself. Yeah. So, my said vessel. I think trends. I think when I agree with what Justin just said because if if you can't rely on trends, you're just gonna be that moment of what was. But at the same time, if you are your own unique individual and you stay away from trends, you could eventually make your own trend and be a trend Mm -hmm. and not saying anything's wrong because at the end of the day, it's like, how do you, how does Lil Pump have a cult following? Mm -hmm. There's something about him that people go crazy about. So how does another artist have their own, not cult, I mean, I want a cult following, that'd be tight. Yeah. But how do you, how do you create that? And I think you have to, you have to be a trend in your own right. Because people want something trend, not so much trendy to follow, but they need something to follow. Yeah, I mean, people uh, want to be with the. Um, <clears throat> they want to be with in crowd. Not people want to be with the times. Whatever the times is presenting. No, they're di- they're different. The cult, fall, cult, cult, cult is bigger. Like, but I mean, what I mean is like in a trend, it's like. It's like That's true. Yeah, but a cult fo- like a trend, a trend, or like a cult following doesn't have, like, it doesn't have, it doesn't, it doesn't have a cap. But yeah, I don't. You don't ever hear of a. Mm-hmm. Well, ah, I feel you. Mm-hmm. If you're talking about the glove and the movements and everything he's is done, it? yes, yeah, that's that's a trend. The gimmick is a trend, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like you right now, but yeah. Yeah. No, the gimmick no. is a trend. He he's not a trend. He, I mean, he's trend. He's a he's a trendsetter. Yeah. Yeah, he it's set a trend. And, and he that, wasn't. That's what I mean. And I, yeah, I think, I think, I think trends is more so, um, more so people falling into the times. Because and I think he, Michael, ja- he has a cult in a sense. So yeah, I, trendsetter though. Yeah, no, that definitely defines Michael Jackson. And I think, um, but nah, just be- even between, even with trends, like, I mean. I don't know. There's you could be with the times, and you can fall into certain trends. But if you're just, I mean, like it's just about being yourself at the end of the day. If you, um, and if more people weren't afraid to be themselves, then there really wouldn't be wouldn't any be type of trend. Um, yeah. But I mean, for the people who are, uh, you know, 
I don't know. Just get with the right trends, I guess. I mean, there's just certain because the trends are going to continue to happen. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know what it, I mean? It, so it, it's, it's just like, but but also just realizing that you know you can still be yourself. You can still define your own trend. You can still you know. You can still be able to do for yourself. You don't need anything else to define you outside of what you are doing and what you feel like you're capable of doing. <laughs> Marvel <laughs> movies have cult followings, and I'm part of the cult following. No, I mean, I, 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 I had comic books before the movies became a thing. Yeah, no, nah, there's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hey I, I know people the Marvel, who the Marvel movies are die hard Marvel fans. Yeah, I'm not I mean I get where you're coming from. I know we have this conversation so much fucking time. Yeah, nah, the I'm Marvel just thankful movies. that I'm able to see this. That's all I want to say. Yeah, for right now, for right now, and especially because um uh going back and dropping movies from like 10, 20 years ago is a thing now, is a trend now. Um I think from a lack of originality, uh, I don't, I don't know. I think yeah, it's perfect for these movies, like especially with Marvel coming out, and um, I think that it's going to continue to be a trend for the next year or two, where it's not really original, but you think so? You think think well, even like with Disney movies, like I was talking to somebody about this, and it's just like, what was the last original Disney? motion picture that was just like an actual like the cartoon like back in the day so no white was and like lion king it's exactly been a minute, seven been a minute <laughs> like what the princess and the frog maybe but that's yeah. not I mean but that's like already like a storyline i don't i mean i i can't i just we're just it's just nostalgia yeah it's it's nostalgia over originality right now when it comes to these movies yeah yeah star wars lion king Lion King. It's a, they say, it's a movie sure. I called an animated movie. But if you're going to waste your time remaking a movie, can we do Super Mario, please? And also... Don't remake the Hulk. Fuck that. Stop. Nah, don't nah, don't touch yeah. the Hulk anymore. Stop. Dude, redo Super... Super we redo Super Mario, please, because yeah. the last one was bad. And John Languizamo, you shouldn't have did that. Um, I don't. I don't. I haven't seen the movie, and I'm trying to think. Well, I shouldn't see There's it. only don't one scene it. in the movie that I enjoy, and it's the elevator scene. It did air dancing. Outside of that, bro, that movie did not need to be made. Well, how do you... I have it on VHS if you want to... A live action action Mario movie is like questionable to Dragon Ball Z live action. You don't do that. Nah, man. Mario is where it all started. I don't give a damn about Dragon Ball Z right now because Super Mario is the... Super Mario is what made Dragon Ball Z, if you think about it. Without Super Mario... And those fireballs, you can't have any Dragon Balls with the fireballs. I'm not going to lie. I said it. Is that, is that an Easter egg <laughs> from Super Mario to create Dragon Ball Z? No. I'm just kidding, guys. No, I, that, that has hey, no that, correlation we, whatsoever. Hey, we could run with it. That has no correlation whatsoever. But Super Mario that. just needs to come out with a live. They need to come out with another movie and stop bluffing. Because that was that for, that. that's a misrepresentation, to say the least. Damn. Yeah. Cool. Well, we're about to wrap it up right now. So, <laughs> so <laughs> Jenny Bars, last hey, words. Um, and rant. And rant. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, pretty much it. Where can, we, um, where can we find your music at? Let the people know of, of Untapped Hip Hop. Where can we find you? Oh. Plug um, yourself in. Besides this podcast, if you haven't subscribed yet. Subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, you can find me on all social media at Johnny Bars, J O N N I E Bars. Um, I will have new music out in the meantime. The American Dream is on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music. Check that out if you haven't already. And yeah, I'm gonna ask you one more question. How did you come up with Johnny Bars? Uh, that's the name I gave myself. I used to watch a lot of battle rap um, before I started rapping, and then I went to an open mic at the Dope Spot. And I needed to have a rap name or some type of name um, to give myself. So, for as I was writing down to you know on the open mic to get myself on the list, and yeah, Johnny Bars was that. It was going to be Johnny Quest, but Johnny Bars, everybody likes that. I'm so. glad you stuck with Johnny Bars. Yeah, thank no, you. Johnny Quest <laughs> is tight, but Johnny yeah. Johnny Bars, yeah, it's cool. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly why yeah. Johnny Bars is continuing to live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, Haji. Haji. Yeah. So, no, but no, Johnny Bars is a yeah, household name. P Town. Yeah. That's P Town right here. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Thank, Thank you guys you again. Here. You're welcome. Yeah, I appreciate Thank you. Being no problem. Last minute. Two coming in the clutch. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. Guys. And, um, you can find us at Untapped Hip Hop and Facebook, Instagram, all social medias, um, YouTube, uh, you name it. And then uh, also be on the lookout. We're gonna have our own uh, Instagram page of uh, KOS coming soon. So, hey. Yeah. Uh, also, can, uh, where can they find you? Now? Oh, I got scared. I was about to do it. I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> uh, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Instagram. I am New Age Takeover. Twitter, New Age Takeover. Also, New Age Athletics, Instagram, and Facebook, and all that good stuff. One more time, Johnny Bars. Thank you so much for being a guest with us. Yeah. We yeah. appreciate your time and energy. Thank yes. you. Thank, Thank you, you guys for supporting. Subscribe. Yeah.